from Norinos, welcome back to your Tuesday edition of Hot News. Big thanks for you guys uh, waiting on us, not releasing a video yesterday. Much appreciated. We definitely needed the day off, so I thank you all that we could do that. And I thank today's video sponsor for sponsoring today's video. Hey friends, today's video is sponsored by Manscaped.com. In case you don't remember, we've already talked about how they got to keep your nuts all nice and tidy like you're preparing for winter, but it's summer, so you need to make sure that your grass is freshly clean, kept tidy, because, you know, your house looks a lot bigger when your lawn is mowed. Also, you know, Shenron looks a lot bigger when he doesn't have a cloud around him, okay? You gotta keep the Dragon Balls nice and tidy. And that's where Manscaped comes in with their Perfect Package Essentials Kit. It's the world's first all-in-one manscaping kit that makes manscaping safe and easy. Don't want to be Nick and Shenron, okay? You don't want the eternal dragon mad at you for a second. Manscape is the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. That means you can expect only the best products made from the best materials to give you the best grooming experience possible. You don't want the eternal dragon sad because you use something that was underrated. They're the perfect tools for the family jewels and the lawnmower 3.0 has a powerful 7,000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology, which makes it quiet. A premium 90 minute lithium ion battery with rapid charging dock powered by USB. What are you doing for 90 minutes, friend? Hey, you need that battery life? It's got a built-in LED so that you can see where you're going. Also, highly recommend uh, gloves while you're doing it, okay? Keep your hands clean, but then also you can see where you're going. But you don't need to anymore because you got the lawnmower 3.0 that's got in your way. And it comes with the same replaceable ceramic trimmer blade. You can get the lawnmower 3.0 water resistant trimmer plus all the great add-ons when you buy the perfect package 3.0 essential kit, the crop preserver ball deodorant and the crop reviver ball toning spray. And for a limited time, they have their shed travel bag and the Manscaped anti-chasing boxer briefs as two free gifts for a limited time. If you use the link in the video description plus coupon code UFD tech, you'll save 20% and get free shipping. So that's again, link in the video description, coupon code UFD tech. Keep your eternal dragon, feisty for summer. And I think the RTX 20 series for all of the good times that we had with them because they, according to new reports that are coming out from a news publication, are over. The RTX 20 series is done. They're gonna stop producing them and raise the prices. This is coming out as a report from IT Home saying that NVIDIA is stopping production of the 2070, 2070 Super, 2080, 2080 Super, and the 2080 Ti. They will be gonzo, dunzo. It's over because, I mean, they're just gonna prepare for Ampere, which is good stuff, okay? We're getting ready for the next generation. So that's exciting. However, there's also more information that apparently, according to IT Home, Home, NVIDIA is going to ask their partners to raise the prices on the RTX 20 series in order to deflate an upcoming cryptocurrency bubble because cryptocurrency is coming up. So they want to make sure that GPUs are not going to be in that fray. And I really don't think that this is 100% necessary. Granted, I haven't necessarily been into the crypto scene for quite a few ages. In case you don't remember, we used to be covering crypto a lot on this channel. We got away from that because it basically collapsed. Anyways, I don't see that coming back, but I could potentially be wrong. And not only is NVIDIA raising the prices, allegedly, according to ITE Home, the interesting thing from this tech power-up article is that they say that the RTX 30 series is supposed to be announced September 17th. I heard like September and October. I didn't realize we had a specific date, so we're like two months away. That's hectic. That's a Thursday. Wow. Cool. It's news to me. Hopefully it's not news to you, or maybe it is. I don't know. I'm the news channel. You just, you, it's hot. It's hot news right here. That's all you get. And it's hot that Intel can't think of a new name for their integrated graphics. So they're just going to stick with what works with the Tiger Lake integrated graphics apparently being called Intel Iris Z graphics. So they're just sticking with Iris and it makes sense. So it's, it's the eyeballs eyeballs graphics i get it i get it until you're you were ahead of the curve on that one you were prepared biostar however is behind the curve when it comes to launching gpus they're basically at this point the internet explorer of launching navi cards with them finally coming out with rx 5000 series cards the 5700 xt and 5500 xt extreme gaming cards it's extreme yeah look at how extreme those cards are they look like 10 series shrouds, if you ask me. Maybe nine. I would expect some of these shrouds to be like on a 960 or a 1060. Wow, was a biostar. At least you're doing it. So I got I got to credit you for that. And at least you're doing this. What is this article doing here? Why do I have that here? Don't know. Don't care. It's the next article. Microsoft Flight Simulator got a release date August 18th. 
Uh, it's going to have different versions of the game. The $60 version includes 20 planes and 30 airports. But if you want more than that, you got to pay $90. If you want more than that, you're going to need to pay $120 to get 30 planes and 40 airports. That's ultimate DLC, but you also need to buy an extreme computer to even run this game in the first place. So that's wow. Okay, well, switching back to the AMD news, because I somehow put a Microsoft article in the middle of all that, Threadripper Pro expected to be announced tomorrow, or today, rather, I'm filming this on the 13th, but regardless, Threadripper Pro is supposed to be announced by AMD today. You may already know whether or not it's come out, but we have the specifications and more leaked about these chips with it going up to 64 cores, 128 threads, and them having up to two terabytes of RAM, 128 PCI Express lanes, eight channel DDR4 3200 megahertz memory and then starting at 12 cores as opposed to the regular Threadripper right now which starts at 24 cores so there might actually be a bit more range in there 12 16 32 and 64 are supposed to be with the Threadripper Pro are supposed to be launching in they're going to be slightly slower but they're going to have all the features like quad channel memory more PCI Express lanes and then AMD Pro technologies included in that but while we're waiting on Threadripper to be repackaged into the Pro version you might maybe have gotten a chip that's been repackaged into another version. There have been reports of Ryzen 5 3600 chips being shipped out into these boxes, which are the AMD Vega graphics ones, the, the APUs. You see second gen processor with Radeon graphics, but it's a Ryzen 5 3600, which is a third gen Ryzen with no Radeon graphics. This seems like an oopsie doopsie by AMD. They might have to make good to some customers because it says, it says right there, it says right here with Radeon graphics, the processor with Radeon graphics. Where are my Radeon graphics? If I bought this and I got no Radeon graphics, I'm gonna ask for a free GPU. At least give me something like a, a 5500 XT, which I just apparently happen to have handy right around my home desk anyways. Yeah, have you had a chip shipped in a different box? Let me know down below in the comments. And have you been watching what Ubisoft is doing? Because they had their Ubisoft Forward event on Sunday the 12th and they announced a few key things. Number one, Watch Dogs Legion will be available October 29th, 2020. And then in a really, really dumb move, they announced that the release date for Assassin's Creed Valhalla will be November 17th, which is two days before Cyberpunk 2077. I don't care how good Valhalla is, it's that's a terrible time to be launching this game, I'll tell you. So either Assassin's Creed is going to get further delayed, which would put it right up against when Black Friday is. Yeah, Black Friday is the 27th, so if they launched it on the 24th, that wouldn't necessarily be terrible. But 19th for Cyberpunk, they're, oof, that's, that's a tough one. So either Cyberpunk gets delayed or Assassin's Creed gets delayed. They can't launch that close together, I'll tell you. I might be wrong, we'll see. And last little bit of Ubisoft news, their battle royale game Hyperscape is now available as an open beta on PC. It is somehow integrated with Twitch some way more than Valorant was. I watched a little bit of gameplay, didn't seem to care too, it looked bad or boring rather. I don't know, what do you think of Hyperscape? Why don't you let me down, know down below in the comments and let me know what you think about EK Waterblock's new quantum flow indicators coming out with some delicious quantum flow indicators that also can be baked into the GPU block that they have. So that's nice, you could just buy a GPU block and then have that attached and it's got addressable RGB, beautiful. And addressable RGB is what Lee and Lee rolled out into their land cool two mesh cases, the RGB and performance versions being launched on the 10th on Friday. We actually have ours, we'll be releasing a video shortly on that. Here's some B-roll of ours, cool. I actually did a live stream of this case before embargo was lifted, but I was never told when embargo was and I didn't even know that the case was under embargo because I wasn't told, and so whoopsies. And that's what Apple said. My bad about the battery issues. You know how we were kind of throttling your phones because we wanted you to, to buy new ones. Well, you can now apply for your $25 iPhone battery gate compensation. If you own the specific devices at the specific time with the specific iOS, you can get about $25 per eligible device. So go get, go get your Apple cash, okay? Take away from their cash stockpile to do it for some reason. I don't, it's 
25 bucks i get i mean 25 bucks is 25 bucks well this is going to cost you a little bit more than 25 bucks lego has uh, been teasing their new nes console lego set which you can see in a picture down below right here you build the console you build the tv the controller and the cartridge it does not play games doesn't include like any version of nintendo software and it's expected to come in at a reasonable price of around 250 us dollars which is an outlandish considering how much other lego sets go for i just personally would wish that it would come with the ability to play games as well but nintendo would, would charge way more than that and disney is charging your attention more segue somehow Star Wars is getting a new animated series. The Bad Batch is coming to Disney Plus in 2021. It's supposed to set, be set in the immediate aftermath of the Clone Wars. Do you care? Do you care about Disney's animated series? Let me know down below in the comments. And let me know what you think of the Pix 4A because that got leaked onto Google's official store. Google store showing the picture of the black version with this mint green power button. And now it's gone and there's no details on the specific launch day, the specific price. It was really just the picture of the 4A that came out. It does look like it does still indeed have a headphone jack for all of you who care out there. So hold on to that. But OnePlus got rid of the headphone jack and now they're bringing in a way for you to listen to things besides buying another pair of wireless headphones because they're going to be launching the Pix the OnePlus Buds. I'm sorry, I almost called it the Pixel Buds because they're basically the same thing. Anyways, OnePlus Buds being confirmed to be announced on the 21st alongside the OnePlus Nord, which I still maintain is a horrible name. And Death Stranding doesn't appear to be looking all that horrible on PC. It launches today. They came out and said that it doesn't support ray tracing due to time constraints to get the PC version out. They will be considering whether or not to get a PS5 version out when that launches. However, their focus was on the PC version. So PC edition of Death Stranding, I've heard pretty good things about this port it seems to run on basically everything and arcs 580 should be enough to net you 1080p 60 fps at high settings from what are gathering so uh let me know if you are getting death stranding down below in the comments and let me know if you got persona 4 golden turns out a lot of you did atlas coming out and tweeting that they sold 500,000 copies in under a month for this version of persona 4 golden i mean freaking atlas how long how how many times does the fan base have to show you that if you port the games, we will buy them? Port Persona games. Put the Persona 5 on the Switch, okay? Just do it. Put Persona 5 on the PC. I don't care that I still haven't played Persona 5 Royal on my PlayStation 4. I will buy it on PC because I just I, I love the games, okay? Atlas, listen, listen here. Port them, okay? B bring Persona 5 Scramble to the West, okay? We want the localized version of Persona 5 Scramble. Please do not keep that as a Japanese-only release. We will buy it. We will buy your games. 500,000 people bought your damn game on Steam. Release the other ones. That the platforms we want. The Switch is the perfect place for Persona, okay? I'm tired of having to load up a full console to play a game that is clearly meant for a mobile d d device. I mean, freaking, if, I mean, Sony. Sony, you listen here, okay? You cut, you you take my idea that I came up with, or somebody else can. I don't know. This is my idea, okay? Sony, you listening? You make a PlayStation Four portable, okay? It's not hard to get the one to two teraflops of PlayStation Four performance you need in a handheld form factor. The Switch is already doing it, okay? So PS Four, all right? You get that performance. In a mobile handheld, it plays all PS4 games, okay? But only digitally, so you can only get it on the PlayStation Store, but full support. You can totally do this. I will buy one of those, sell it for $300. I will pick it up, and I will play every single gosh dang PS4 game. I will buy so many more things because I can play it in a handheld form factor. You can do this, Sony, please, okay? And if anybody has stuck through this rant, thank you. I really appreciate you. I'm glad to have you around here, and I'm glad that this episode of Hot News is over, but I'm also glad about today's video sponsor. Big thanks again for Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, keep your dragon happy, okay? Keep keep the clouds clean. Keep your lawn mowed. Make sure your dragon balls are as prolific as Shenron is long. Manscaped, use the link in the video description and use coupon code UFT Tech to save 20% and get free shipping. And now I'm mega glad that this episode's over. I'm going to be done now. <laughs>